Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Spider-Man1 here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be going for the Golden Og, and uh, I don't actually have this thing fully leveled up yet, which is interesting. But anyways, um, so yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be going for a Golden Og. Just need to get three kills while enemies are detected, stunned, or blinded. Obviously going to be hopping into some hardcore Nuketown. Using the field points, UAV, and harp. And just like the last episode, I'm going to level this gun up. Get it to gold level 10, which is where I can use the freaking uh, go for bloodthirsties. And then I think I'm gonna go for this gun's bloodthirsties first instead of use or instead of the uh, what's it instead of these guns because. I don't really want to have to use the burst weapon right now. Also, I'm going to change up this class right now. To those two. That's fine. Gung-ho. Ninja. Spycraft, I guess, for now. I guess we'll use Ghost. Anyways, I'm going to hop into some hardcore nuketown, just as always. Hopefully I get something like hardcore dom or hardcore kill confirmed. One of those two would like be the best modes that I could possibly get. Or maybe even hardpoint, but... I don't know how that would end up. Or what the outcome of what or what the outcome of that mode would be like which hardcore domination will work just fine obviously if I get it finished before the round ends I'll just end up using good old SMGs so guess we'll do that But yeah, I'm gonna level this thing up. Once I see a level 10 pop up, then I'm gonna be going for bloodthirsties with this guy. Even though technically, really, I should be going to level up the SMGs and whatnot. Um, I really don't care. I'll end up leveling them up while going for bloodthirsties and shit like that, so... They still haven't captured the tank. And somehow that's now one shot. In hardcore. Enemy has A. Taking bro. I already have a spy plane. That's how you get a spy plane right there, ladies and gentlemen. You go on a six man. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna call in this UAV now. We'll see if I can get those three kills that I need. Yeah, there's an enemy right there still. Enemy spy plane inbound. Hopefully I can get to these people before my spy plane runs out. God damn it. Dude, I swear. I called this in for no reason, I swear. Spy plane assist. That's not what I want. God damn it, my spy plane's already gone. How the hell is that already gone? 
Hostile care package inbound. <gasps> Whatever. At this point, I just need to wait for my friggin' field point. But it looks like he's gonna be spawn type of people who run out of their spawns, so. Oh, true. I could try flashing people. I completely forgot about that shit. Anyways. Costa's pipeline established overhead. forgot about that. Shit. I really completely just forgot about that. Anyways, I'm gonna put this here. Probably not gonna find anybody just, just yet. I might end up just having to get a harp this game and then freaking... Okay, I killed him. So there's one. Two. So if that guy moves forward any bit. Oh my god. Okay, we already spawned with them, so. I just need to wait for them to push. That's it. And if they don't start pushing, then I mean, I guess... Can't really... Charlie looks down. Was that it? I might have just gotten gold. Okay, cool. I got gold. I should probably level this thing up. You know what? I'm gonna level this thing up. Forget. I forgot about that. Forgot about leveling this thing up. I'm just going to just for the level because then I have that mastery challenge thing complete. I should probably do the same thing with that LMG or whatever. Just use it for like a match. Cost that pipeline established oh my God, this guy. Or maybe I should just switch to the SMG. What would I rather do? Continue on mission. Teammate, you better move Losing on. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna die to the teammate. That's pretty obvious one. I don't know if I wanna level this thing up right now. Or if I wanna Try going for Half time. bloodthirsties. Kind of feel like leveling out of it up, so then I just have it leveled up. Obviously, wait. How is it this? I got a five man during the beginning of the game. Switching rally points. Somehow it wants to count that as my thing instead. Might just be able to get a harp this game, that'd be kinda funny. Secure the objective. Securing A. We're pulling ahead. Right, are we winning? Yeah we are. Enemy to C. I kind of feel like going for the SMG bloodthirsties just so that I can see if I can get them. Honestly, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to see if this is going to be hard to get or not. Enemy counter spy plane inbound. The only problem that I have right now is Plus that it is the burst the SMG. That it's a burst and not fully auto SMG. see me through this That's interesting. I went a little bit too far forward. 
this try hard Rambo guy is going for the flip. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for leveling up this thing. And then once I get into 12v12. Once I start playing 12v12. this thing leveling it up once I get this max leveled then obviously I can go for the DMR 14 the next game because I don't currently have that thing leveled max or max leveled okay that finally See, the thing is, it's with bloodthirsties like that. Obviously, I could just say, oh yeah, I could have brought that bloodthirsty if I were using the SMG. Which it is true, I could have probably gotten that with the SMG. I decided not to use the SMG instead. I'm trying to level this thing up to the max because it's one of two attack rifles that I don't have fully maxed out. Which if I'm smart, which I am, I might just go and level up all weapons that I currently don't have maxed ranked on my own time. But since it's a double XP, we can right now. I kind of rather not use my double XP token on this. Or, well, I actually don't really know. Well, from what I know, uh, double XP tokens won't overstack it. So, okay. that got destroyed, so. Okay, somehow people can see me through the smoke, but I can't see them through the smoke. Interesting. Yeah, with the thing, obviously, just gonna use that next team or try to go for that gold next round. Enemy cruise missile once detected. Okay, then whatever. And it's me again. I don't understand. Anyways, whatever. attack rifles and I don't have to worry about any more stupid weapons. I just need to worry about the stupid challenges that go along with the weapon. <laughs> decent weapons in this game. Yeah, I didn't get it fully leveled up. Anyways. Um, so yeah. We have this gold now. Up the mastery. M16 Mastery. Oh, I don't have the AUG Mastery yet because I don't have the thing fully maxed out. 
Wait, I'm sorry, what? I didn't unlock gold. Okay, I unlocked gold, but... Apparently I only have 34 out of 35 challenges. What? It even says... You're in gold camo for four tactical rifles, three out of four. But for some reason the expert thing is not showing up. Which I might just have to level that up fully. But at any rate, um here's cherry blossom. And then here's gold camo. Which looks pretty good on this thing. I'm not gonna lie. That was my screenshot. I think it used to be better. It used to take over the scope as well. But anyways, changed it, I guess. But anyways, so get 300 eliminations. This challenge will come by pretty simple and pretty fast. You either get 300 kills or you get 300 eliminations, which basically means that you if you're killing somebody and teammate comes up and jacks the kill, then that means that that's gonna count. There's one. So just as you keep on killing people, essentially you'll get them. 100 headshots. This thing already comes with a scope on it, but if you really want to have that better chance, then use either do two times, three times, four times. Or I'd use this multi-zoom scope. That one's pretty good sometimes. I enjoy using it from time to time, not even gonna lie. Um, and eventually headshots will happen. Sometimes I get them at random as well. As far as bloodthirsties go, I just played 12v12. Pretty simple. And also, I played free, hardcore free-for-all. That's sometimes pretty good for me to play too. And as well, playing, um, friggin' hardcore nuke town is sometimes pretty good too. But, anyways, people are all different. If you have a mode that you like to get bloodthirsties on, you play that mode. You don't have to listen to me. Uh, as far as long shots go, Half the time you won't really need to worry about these. These are pretty simple. Sometimes you'll be getting them and you didn't even realize it. And sometimes you'll be getting them without even trying. This is your last challenge. Obviously I try to go for them. And you can usually get them in hardcore 12v12. On like longer range-ish maps. But it's pretty easy to do. As far as kill 75 enemies, detected, stunned, blinded, uh, just basically do what I was doing. Use a good old field mic, um, and then use gearhead. Also use spycraft, which it's immune to counter spy planes, so even if you have a spy plane up and people and the enemies have a counter, you'll still be earning kill challenges towards that challenge, which is pretty nice. And also, obviously, use the UAV and harp as your two main streaks for this. Uh, kills behind cover, pretty easy. If you play garrison or raid, those are the two maps that I had most promising with. And then top three would be Nuketown. Added in, Nuketown's always pretty simple for getting kills behind cover as well. That's just what I'd recommend playing. You can do what you want if you find a map and mode and stuff that you like. You play that map and mode. You do whatever. These are all subject to the people. If you want like easy child or easy ways throughout the challenge, and that's what I'd do. But anyways, and then kill two or more enemies rapidly, 25 times in multiplayer. Pretty easy. These will come by per like randomly you don't really have to try to go for them all that much uh, I mean you can if you want to you don't have to though but anyways it's up to you you can personally uh, sometimes you just get them without even trying 
and sometimes I'll get them even while trying, but that's how it goes, I guess, right? And that'll basically unlock you gold and then diamond once you have every attack rifle. And then it'll unlock DM Ultra once you have all of the weapons in the game gold slash diamond on every class. But yeah. So next video, I'm gonna be using the M14, which we have to get four. Which shouldn't be too too difficult. Especially if I get domination, something like that, last match. That was pretty good. Anyways. So yeah. So I guess I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, definitely do not forget to leave a like. Uh, definitely comment down below on what else you want to see from my channel because, you know, I can definitely bring it out. Do not forget to leave a like, which I already said. And also, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions about the road, the DM Ultra, or how to get camels easier. I'll definitely answer. And also, do not forget to subscribe for more to come out into the future. As you know, with my channel, there eventually will be. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so then you know whenever I do upload those videos. But uh, yeah, guys, without anything else left to say, I guess it's been me, Spider of an One. And uh, peace out. Thank you.